YouTube, man, the best secondary you could possibly assemble is here. It's been here for about a week since this new Sean Taylor card comes out. Uh, and I've pretty much concluded on how I want to set up my secondary, how I want to do it, how I want to use this to my defenses. Also, like I said, man, I want to drop that defensive two plays. The two plays you need on defense to win games. There's two of them. And I want to drop that video, break down those two plays later. But I want to get this video to 500 likes. So make sure you do that and we can drop that video. Also, man, you want to watch me play live? Twitch, that link is below. All my socials are below. I appreciate you guys who have already followed those. You guys aren't missing out on anything. But first, let me dive into this secondary and what I like most about it. Now, I'll tell you the best safeties for me. Uh, we can talk about you guys. I mean, give me your top four safeties. I mean, it's got to be Palomalu. It's got to be Ed Reed. It's got to be Dawkins. And then Sean Taylor. In no order. Those got to be the four, right? And fifth, you'd probably go Ronnie Lott. That's probably as far as top five. No order. I don't want to get into an order because for me, Dawkins will always be number one. But, you know, you guys can choose other ways. Now, as you see, this is how I set up my defense. You know, we're just going to talk about my defensive roster. And because this gameplay, I'm actually going to play against a bunch of bunch users. So, we're going to need all these secondary pieces. Now, I have Sean Taylor. I have Brian Dawkins. I also have Calvin Johnson. And I have Taylor Mays. Obviously, one, Calvin Johnson didn't even play defense. And two, Taylor Mays was bad in the NFL. But here goes Madden. This is when Madden comes into play. They're both tall. They're both fast. They both hit. Uh, they both can catch, right? So those guys are like my Madden prototype safeties. And then you have your Dawkins and your Sean Taylor. Now, Ed Reed and Palomalu both are good, but they're short. Now, Dawkins is at that six-foot threshold. If he was any shorter, he would be in that realm. But six-foot is good enough. But 5'10 for Palomalu, and I believe Ed Reed is 5'11, I want to say. Um, uh, they are not on my team. Now, obviously, there goes the difference between Madden and real life. Uh, Taylor Mays and Calvin Johnson are on my team, you know, but uh, Palomalu and Ed Reed aren't. Mostly because they're just short, you know. I mean, bigger people beat up little people, and that just is a testament to how good Palomalu and Ed Reed were in real life because they, they they weren't as tall as Sean Taylor or even Brian Dawkins, but they still were able to make just as many plays and make the Hall of Fame in their position. But for me, those are my four safeties that I'm going to use. Also, at corner, we have Pat Pete, my favorite player uh, in Madden, uh, Night Train Lane, Jalen Ramsey, and I have Ronnie Lott here, as you can barely see as my face is covered. I have Ronnie Lott who can play both positions. Um, I'm going to move him around a little bit. Uh, I had Mike Evans. Eh, don't like him too much. Uh, I believe Night Train and Ronnie Lott will kind of be my slot with Ramsey and Pat Pete on the outside. Uh, so that's my secondary. Now let's move on and I'll show you how I use these all these guys in 146. Also, before I do that, there's a reason why as I have activated Calvin and Taylor Mays, right? But you see they're not starting. Why is that? One, your backup safeties will be on special teams. So that's how you see these guys running around with Enforcer all the time on special teams. It's your backup safeties. So that's my default depth chart has my backup safeties. Also, in every pass formation, I want these guys at linebacker. One, because they have Lurker is who I'm going to use her. Uh, and, and that's just pr that's pretty much the reason why I want them at linebacker, you know, because this is how Madden 21 works. If you're a secondary player, whether you're the nickel back in, in uh, you know, 335, or if you're a, a dollar and you're in a slot, you can jump and catch the ball. If you're a linebacker, you cannot. So if you replace your linebackers with people with the lurker ability, now all of a sudden everybody you have in pass coverage can jump and catch the ball. You know, so that's why I put my lurkers at linebacker. You know, that's pretty much what I do. Now, if I'm in 3-4 and I can only have two safeties on the field, obviously we can put Sean T and Brian Dawkins at corner. But when I run 3-4, I'll put Taylor Mays and Calvin Johnson as safety with my corners, uh, Pat Pete and Jalen Ramsey at corner. And unfortunately, Sean Taylor and Brian Dawkins are on the bench in my 3-4 sets. So that is why I do like running more nickel, more dollar, more 1-4-6, more, with more DBs, so I can have this second there of Sean T, Taylor Mays, Calvin Johnson, and Brian Dawkins on the field. And let's see how that does in this game. So I'm playing another Eagle fan. I told you guys, man, the Eagles... Uh, I'm up in the air. I'm starting to feel like bots wear the Eagles jerseys. I'm starting to feel that way. I'm sorry. You guys know I'm a huge Eagle fan, so it's tough for me to say that. But I'm feeling like, let me know, Chad. Are, are, do good players wear the Eagles jerseys? Are the Eagles fans good Madden players? I mean, 
I got to be on the good side of that that argument. But you know, starting to starting to run to a lot of bots that wear the Eagles jerseys. But first drive, just filling him out here. He's actually running a little bit of nickel against my running set, uh, whether it be strong close or eye close. Um, so I'm going to stay, keep running the ball, see what I can get. One thing I've told myself, man, we have two months of Man 20 left. Uh, Got to get ready for Man 21. Man 20 was a run meta, and I'm really not good at running. I mean, the the toughest evaluation is self-evaluation, and I'm not good at running. So I've been trying to mix in a lot more dives or stretches, get better at what looks to do, how to read the blocks and everything. It's something I can improve personally on my Madden game. So, I, I mean, I want you guys to check your Madden game. What can I get better at? Because th this is your time to practice that. Nothing means anything. We're playing for fun and practice what you do, what you do bad at. You know, if you want to get better in that area and running blast is an area I really don't need to practice because I, I might be the best at it. Blast, that ass, touchdown, 7 nothing. Uh, always great to get seven on your first drive. We're kicking off. This is a bunch user. I see Randy Moss. I tried to A-gap rush, but just didn't send enough people. He throws it up to Moss. Try to scramble on Dawkins. As great as Dawkins we talked about, he's not going to stop Moss. But will he get his revenge throughout the rest of this game? Post route right there. Boom. Can't knock it away. Deep post. So he got seven faster than me, but he got seven thanks to Moss, too. I mean, Moss... Uh, it rarely works anymore, but when it does, it definitely hurts. Um, but let's go tie it up, or let's go take the lead again. Michael Vick just took a tackle from Taylor Mays. That was not a hit stick. That was a tackle. So I, I don't expect to fumble on those. Once again, a tackle from Calvin. That's two blasts in a row. I got to be careful. That's why I go down to a running set. I actually have punter Randall Cunningham that I bring in. As you see, I have Randall Cunningham in and off the ball. I bring in these situations because uh, if Vick is on the sideline, he gets stamina back faster. You know, as I try to throw a hitch right here, he breaks it up. We get a fourth and one. We're going to go for this. Try to bounce it out wide, and my tight end blocked a ghost. He saw the ghost, did not block anybody, so we get stopped on blast right there. Overthought it, man. Most of the time with blast, you can just just pretty much W key, as they say in uh, in shooters, right up the gut, right up the A gap, and, and get that done. But I tried to go outside. My tight end just saw a ghost, and I did not get the first down, but... We are going to attack. We are going to send the missiles. Taylor Mays right there. Like I said, Taylor Mays and Calvin Johnson play linebacker in my 146. Uh, I, I like to switch sides of who I use, whether it be the left or the right linebacker, depending on where the running back is on the offense, where the most wide receivers are on the offense, the balance of the offensive set. So that's why I like both my linebackers to be safeties with Lurker. Obviously, you could have Shazier powered up as I go for the bomb right here. Michael Vick and somehow Calvin Johnson runs there and... I don't know what happened there. I felt like I should have had a catch. Uh, maybe bad pass lead Michael Vick. Uh, next play, second down, hit this in route. Like I said, I like my lurkers in the middle. You can use Shazier. You can use um, Patrick Willis, whoever you have. If they have that lurker ability, as Michael Vick gets up out of there on the read option inside the 15, probably should have slid right there when there was four people. But you know, I'm looking for a touchdown. Miles Garrett looking for quarterback meet. Never mind. So we scramble with Michael Vick. Get inside the 10-yard line right there. Nine-yard line, third down. We're going to run a little bit. Close, fourth and short, fourth and short. What are we going to do right here? Blast that ass. First down. Once again, I mean, when you're this close, there's nothing to really think about when you're in the New Orleans playbook. I, I don't know if you guys are utilizing Blast. The best thing about it is short yardage. That's it. I mean, if, if you were going to try this offense, I would start off with running Blast with short yardage, getting those touchdowns blasting that ass and that's what i would tell you guys man and then learn to do it throughout the rest of the game but this guy's a pretty good bunch user he runs the playmaker back across the middle miles garrett kill shot on the wide receiver like i said i do not get fumbles in my games do not expect that to ever happen as calvin johnson with a user rush right up the gut second and long sack this guy a lot i'll be honest bunch is good if you're super, super tough at passing, you have to be Clef, you have to be Pavin, you have to be Kiv, you have to be that good at passing the ball for Bunch to be effective. And uh, especially Mutt with all these zones, as he hits the corner out there, this is the end of the half, though. Nothing's going to happen. We go to halftime, it's 14 to 10, uh, and I kick the ball out of bounds. I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want you guys to comment about it, about it. I kick the ball out of bounds. It happens sometimes. You know, I'm old, I'm 33. I kick the ball out of bounds. It was a bad stick. Boom, just like that. So uh, just got to get a stop. We're up four. That's a touchdown lead. We're feeling good about it. Goes to this post route right there. Boom. Uh, tough to call, cover Moss on a post route. 
This time I cover the post. He goes up top, but there he is, Brian Dawkins. I told you, these safeties do not play around all 99 speed, and he's going to see the Baja. He's going to get his drink ready. He's going to get his folding chair ready, but he's going to get tackled by a fat lineman, Brian Dawkins. Boom. But we have the ball in field goal range. We're ready to score. Touchdown right here ends the game. Calvin Johnson, or Chris Johnson, trips over uh, nobody. I, I don't know who tackled me there. My center tripped me up. I'm going to keep running. Chris Johnson is my backup. Chris Johnson and Westbrook are backups to Walter Payton. Um, here we go, second and 10. We're going to dump it off to Walter Payton. Nowhere to go right there. The D lineman, just too, everybody's too fast to make something out of nothing for the most part. Uh, third down, we get sacked by Clowney. So we'll take our three. We'll go up a full seven. Going up a full seven, closing into the end of the third quarter is always a good spot to be. There's nothing wrong with being up a full seven, man, because no matter what happens, You'll be tied unless this person's a cycle and goes for two, but that's rare. Uh, and so we got to play good defense. He has seven points pretty much because of Moss. So just keep letting the secondary eat. There goes Miles Eaton, but he throws the ball the way he gets out of trouble with Michael Vick. One of the best things about mobile quarterbacks is you can get out of trouble and throw the ball away. This time you can't get out of trouble when that boy, Predator, number 90, is Davion Clowney, is coming after you like that. Third and 13. Nowhere to go again. He rolls out. Nowhere to go. Sacked by Taylor Mays. Sending that linebacker spy. Fourth and 18. We're going to send everybody in. There you see just a corner route in front of Pat Pete. Miles Garrett, I need a shed right there. He got great pass protection. Blocked everybody. Uh, next play, he gets the same pass protection, but we swat the pass down. Still up seven. We're in the fourth quarter now. Uh, things are going good. Rolled out again. Clowny. Uh, I believe that's Dion going after him. Like, just absolutely insane. That's another guy. I did not show you guys uh, one of the players that I'll always have as he throws a corner out right there over Dion Sanders. Dion Sanders is, it, I, I don't care how outdated the card is. He's had 99 speed pretty much as he misses a deep streak right there. So what happens when you send pressure. They're not used to looking downfield. But Dion Sanders is just a glitch in the game. I think he should always be on your field if he's an option in Madden. He should always be out there. Uh, and Deion Sanders is somebody I use in the nickel. He is one of my dime nickel backs because he's just, I, I feel like Deion is glitched in Madden. Sacked again. This time, Lawrence Taylor. We get to another fourth down, fourth and 12. This time we play coverage, goes corner route, and just absolutely teabags aforementioned Deion Sanders. So <laughs> he gives up that first down. Next play, we get a sack. Deion is mad, but so I send Night Train at him. Uh, next play, roll out. Nowhere to go. Hits this little playmaker. No big yards. Nothing. We are under a two-minute warning right here. Next play, third and 11. Nowhere to go for him again. Looking for a playmaker. We send a spy. We got some pressure on. Boys all over. Throws it up. Caught by Owens, but he stepped out of bounds. That's the penalty, boys. You cannot step out of bounds and be the first one to touch the football. Fourth and 11. We're going to send more dogs at him. He's going to go up. Try Mr. Brian Dawkins. The best ever. Knocked away. Incomplete. Went to double me. Can't double me on Brian Dawkins. That's going to be the GGs in the chat. That's going to end the game, man. Like I said, that is my perfect secondary. Dawkins, Sean Taylor, uh, Taylor Mays, Calvin Johnson. Those four should be on your field at some point. Corners, I've been telling you guys about Pat Pete forever. I hope you guys are using him. And the other corner, I'll be honest, Ramsey, he's decent. Doesn't stand out crazy. But, I mean, I don't need to replace him. I feel like a lot of the corners are the same other than Pat Pete. He's the best. If you like this video and you want to see me break down the defensive settings and what I do on defense, please hit that like button. 500 likes, we drop it.